guys, it is Free Wings Cosplay here. Today, well tonight actually, I am procrastinating on my reading and also my Spanish project. So, we're going to be doing a little bit of reorganization and you're going to help me. Let me show you the damage. So this is my desk. Um, it's not... You know, it's not great, but it's also not the worst, I don't think. Well, you can see most of it. Oh, there we go. That works. Um, so as usual, when it comes to this, I'm going to be taking most of this stuff down, putting it on my bed, and then we're going to figure out where to go from there. And we're going to start with my flag, I think, because that is obscuring most of this, so... So everything that is coming off is now off. Um, I am not moving my printer because it needs to be there to be plugged in. Um, you can't really see it, but my laptop I also left here and that light is staying where it is. Um, these post-it notes that I left up are pretty important. Um, they have like passwords for my Disney Plus and um, passwords for all my school things. This one is my go-to key for annotating books and then these are just a couple of quotes that make me feel good. So we're gonna start by wiping everything down and then we're gonna start I think going through my books and figuring out what's going to go where and then we'll move on to decorations afterwards. Cool. we have The Vanishing Deep. I'm getting rid of this book. Um, I need to take all the tabs out of it, but I did not enjoy this book. That is going to be donated probably to, there's a little library literally like across the street from my school. So any of them that I'm saying I'm getting rid of are probably going to go there. Um, but this is one of them. Goodbye. The Woods Are Always Watching. Also really did not enjoy this book. Um, also because publishers and books are not yet in the habit of putting trigger warnings for any books that I'm getting rid of, I'm going to put a little sticky note inside with the trigger warnings on it because that is very important. Uh, these Fleeting Shadows. I liked this book. I, I really liked this book by the color of my tabs. Um, 
yeah, I'll keep it. I can probably use this. I'll probably read this again. Um, this was my first real, like, gothic that I read. And it's quite good. So, I think I'm going to start up here. And I'll, I'll move that as necessary. I'm probably going to put it in alphabetical order. I should probably do that now, actually. So I'm not mad at myself later. You are an M. Okay, 13 stories. Um, this one was interesting. I'm probably not going to read this again. Also, he's, spoilers. Um, a small child commits cannibalism at the end of this book. So that was fun to read. I think I'm going to give it a miss. Uh, the Ballad of Black Tom. This was a good one. It's a pretty short read. I do want to read this again um, and see if I can absorb it a little bit better than I did the first time. So this is staying. Uh, small Crimes in an Age of Abundance. Yeah, I didn't really care for this one. I think this one can go. Uh, Exile in the Heart. This one is pretty good. It's just a bunch of really short um, little stories about lesbianism, about um, like the experiences of being a lesbian. So that was quite good. Also, I can't see it. It's signed. Um, and I personally do not get rid of signed books, so I'm going to keep this one. Oh, not even a question. We are keeping After Love. This book hurts in the best possible way. I am keeping this and I'm going to read it anytime I need a good cry. Uh, Tales of the Hinterland we are keeping. We love... This is basically like an anthology of sort of like grim type fairy tales. Plus, it's illustrated. And I love a good illustrated uh, fairy tale book. Also, like, look how pretty the cover is. Yeah, we're keeping you. Uh, a Thousand Steps into Night. I might read this again. I think I'm going to probably read this again. It was okay. I feel like I would understand it better upon a second reading. Only a Monster. I really enjoyed this book. Um, and I believe there's a sequel to it coming out, so I'm going to probably reread this before I read the sequel. Oh. Bone Spindle. Yes. Absolutely keeping. Uh, Vampires Never Get Old. I love a good vampire book. This is an anthology. Um, it has a lot of really cool stuff in it, and there's a story by B.B. Schwab, who, you know, I, I think she's fun. I know a lot of people really love her work. Um, but this was quite good. Um, is there anything? No, there's nothing cool on the cover. Yeah, I'm gonna keep this one. I like a good anthology. Okay. Grab these since they're right here. Department of Rare Books and Special Collections. DNF'd it. Goodbye. Um, this one I feel like should be relocated. This is a tarot book. Um, just to help with readings. So I should not keep this with my other books. I should put this somewhere else. Uh, these ones. Flashfire. I don't know if this is coming out before or after my vlog where I read this, but I did not enjoy Flashfire. However, it is signed and personalized because 
Um, I met the author at a convention and got him to sign this. So I'm going to keep it. I don't get rid of signed books, but I'm probably never going to read this again. So for, for all intents and purposes, I may like take a photocopy of this page or something. I don't know. For now, I'm keeping it. Oh, The Sunbearer Trials by Aidan Thomas. Oh, Aidan Thomas is one of my favorite authors. This is not going anywhere. And I definitely want to reread this when the sequel comes out because there is going to be another book. This ended on a massive cliffhanger. Um, so, definitely holding on to this. Forest Fall. It was okay. I didn't care for the multiple POVs um, in this one. I didn't really care for the solution at the end of it was kind of strange. Also, I will never be over the first book in this series, this duology, Lake's Edge, was marketed to me as a Phantom of the Opera inspired retelling that sort of vibe and it's not it's not um it's more like Beauty and the Beast than it is Phantom which I'm not against but it wasn't what I wanted didn't super enjoy this one I'm probably gonna get rid of it then uh the Genevieve Deception I believe this is a trilogy. I liked this one decently enough. I want to see if they're going to commit to Lancelot and Guinevere. Because if it is, then this book's going to be, then this series is going to be gay. And I love gay books. So, I'm going to keep it. I enjoyed it. And we'll see how the rest of the series go because I do want to read the rest of these. Uh, Keeping Her Keys. This is also a witchy book. I feel like I should put it with my tarot. Let's see if I can go there. Uh, Gallant by V.E. Schwab. Um, again, this one was pretty good. <laughs> you can see there's a lot of green in there, which is confusion, which is not really a great sign. Um, but I didn't, I didn't dislike it by any stance. I think I'm one of the small handful of people that's kind of meh about B. Schwab. Um, the stuff I've read of from her I liked, but I'm not gonna like go out and buy every book that she publishes, you know? Uh, the Devil in the Dark Water. This book is a lot longer than it had any right to be. And yeah, I didn't really care for it. You can go. I'm a lot better at this than I thought it was. Uh, tell Me My Name. This is another one that I had kind of mixed feelings about. It was okay. The ending of it was weird. Um, and I feel like even though the author said, oh, can you not just my sweater? Uh, even though the author said that she had a particular thing in mind for how she wanted this to be interpreted, it didn't, I don't think it really landed. So, I think I'm going to get rid of this, take out the tabs, and pass it on to somebody else who might like it more. Oh, six Crimson Cranes. I am so glad, not only that I read this book, but also that I stopped reading it when I did. I stopped reading this book for almost a year because when I first picked it up, I was not in a super great place and I wasn't in the right place to read this book. But I eventually came back to it and I absolutely loved it. 
I need to get my hands on The Dragon Promise, uh, which is the second book in this series, and I need to get my hands on the Twisted Tales for Disney that Elizabeth Lim has written, because I really want to read those. Uh, no, wrong one. You're going over here. And the last one I have right here is Strike the Zither. Zither? My tongue always gets mixed up on that word. Uh, by Joan Hay. He? Um, this one's pretty good. I believe there's also a sequel to this. Um, I'm probably going to read the sequel to it. This was pretty good. And I might reread this before I read the sequel, so for now I'm going to keep it. Okay, so that is, this is the keep pile. Let's see about putting them in order. up here. Um, I have this lovely portrait of the inside of the TARDIS, uh, which is by my very good friend Jenny R. Johnson. And I think we're gonna go... and journals I have. These are all for Dungeons and Dragons. And then this is my reading journal. And I kind of want to keep them separate. So let's put D&D stuff over here. Other stuff over here. I am starting to run out of time, so we're going to move quick. because I was running out of recording time, but uh, let me show you what all I did. So we've got most of my books that I've finished up here, along with Skyrus, my little light, light box, that's what it's called, and my numbers and letters are behind it, and my little Pokemon, art from Jenny, this has all of my D&D &D stuff, as well as a little origami frog that I made. 
this is sort of my miscellaneous area. And that's my Spanish books, my uh, pagan witchcrafty stuff, which is being guarded by these very mitch, mis mismatched figurines. Uh, my camera. This is a jar of some of my favorite uh, book and technically TV show quotes because there's also a quote from Doctor Who in there and it's covered in raindrops because on the top it says for stormy days as well as my book journal. And then down here we still have my printer, my little uh, LED mirror with some rings and stuff in it. That's fine where that is. And then I rearrange this a little bit because I don't use most of the stuff in there on like a day-to-day -day basis um, but I like to write notes for myself so I wanted that to be more visible and then we have uh, back here is just like my extra masks my kettle and a little tissue box and then my current TBR which honestly is not that bad that's It's only 12 books, and five of them, so almost half of them, are library books that I need to finish by March. Um, like the middle of March, so I can take them back. Um, so overall that's not too bad, and I do want to be using my library more so I can save money on buying books. Then over here, these are all the ones I'm getting rid of. They will be moved elsewhere but for now they're gonna sit here um, so I can remember to take any tabs out that I need to and mark any trigger warnings that feel necessary. Also my little fidget cube is by my laptop because I, I need it. <laughs> so the only things that didn't really get put up um, there we go there were a couple of things that I wanted to keep but didn't really feel like needed to be on my desk that I put in my little nightstand over there. There were a couple of things that I threw out because they were either broken or I had no use for them. And I also took my flag off of its stick and I'm going to hang it over my bed. But I don't think I'm going to do that tonight. That might be a tomorrow thing. Um, yeah, so this was just a quick little a quick little video. <laughs> uh, I don't know how long this is going to be, I also don't know if it's coming out before or after my vlog, so we'll see where that goes. But I do want to be filming more of this like book related stuff. I need to finish, I need to change that number because I've finished three books at this point. I should do that before I forget. Anyway. <laughs> Uh, if you've made it to this point in the video, thank you so much for watching and hanging out with me as I try to rearrange a little bit of my life. Um, if you've read any of the books that I have up here, please let me know what you think about them. I would uh, love to hear your thoughts, especially about some of my favorites like After Love and The Sunbearer Trials. I love talking about those. Um, and if you want to see some more bookish content coming up, please feel free to subscribe and stick around. And I will see you all in the next video. Bye.